Brad Andrus was a rock musician from Taylor Mill, Kentucky, whose spirit while fighting cancer touched teenage fans across the country. This morning, Michael Flannery spoke at Brad's funeral, and tonight he tells us about how Brad's amazing spirit lives on. If you didn't get a chance to meet Brad Andrus, I am sorry. Having Brad in your life was a gift. Brad Andrus was a bass player for the rock band Close to Home, a local band who, thanks to their website and MP3 downloads, had thousands of fans across the country. But their first national tour ended when a tumor was found on Brad's lung. That's why he told me it was almost like a soccer ball-sized thing of cancer. My lung was so big. When I met Brad, I was amazed because he was smiling. Doctors had removed his lung, put him on chemotherapy, and said he had a 1% chance of making it, and the kid couldn't stop smiling. After the stories aired on Channel 9 and the Internet, thousands of emails came in from teenagers claiming Brad as their hero. They looked up to Brad because he didn't waste his time being angry. I don't know, I'm still happy, even though I've got all these problems. Second time having cancer, I'm not very upset. I'm not upset. I figured like everything happens for a reason, only I have to make it stronger. They admired him because he was a rocker, strong enough to laugh at death. It's like you're sick and dying, never starts sending you money. They feel like you might not be around and here's $50. I'm like, I don't know what it is that people send you money when you're sick. Because he always trusted in God. He came a lot closer with God and as well, so I'm glad about that. It makes me very happy, like I have a great, I figure I'm done with this. I'm done with all my treatments, so I'll have a great testimony. And I wouldn't mind going around the churches or like high schools and telling them my story. It's something like I would love to do. Brad didn't get to tour high schools, but there were several emails from kids who said they had stopped praying years ago. But they were praying again, and they were praying for Brad. There was also one teen who wrote that he decided not to commit suicide after seeing how much Brad loved life, even after it seemed to have turned against him. Thank you, Brad, for everything. And thank you, Michael. What an inspiration. It sounds like he got the most out of life in the short time he had. And apparently helped others, too, yeah. That's in the process. Very true. Yeah. Well, we are...